Kay. And I'm Lisa Schwartz. And, and welcome to Pajama Party! Yay! Ow! <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about lip glosses. Yay! Yay! Hey, so Lisa, what's your favorite? Um, I'm obsessed with lip glosses and I have a million, but you said I could only bring one. <laughs> yep. So this is, look, it's all worn out. This is from Bare Minerals or Bare Essentials. Is it called Bare Essentials or Bare Minerals? They have two companies, I think. But it's all it's mixed different. in one. Um, it? But they only sell. Oh, it's Minerals for Bare Essentials. Anyways, they, um, this is the Buxom and the color is Kanani and I literally, I'm not joking, wear this every, every single day and it's one of those like plumping mm. ones. Oh, so your lips all the To your lips, so, do you want to try it? It's like yes, a little, I would love it's a little to bit try. minty. Oh my god, and the, it matches your uh, nails too. But, here's oh, the thing, cool. they oh. only sell that color at Sephora. Ooh, how come? I do not know why, but if you want Kanani, you have to go to Sephora to get it. Mmm. Did it get enough? It looks beautiful, and it looks good on everyone. Brunettes Yay. and redheads and blondes. That's awesome. Um, and it smells really good. And I think and it's I like $16. $16? So if you, you know, if you buy one of the awesome lip glosses, that should be it. And it lasts for a long, long time. But some lip glosses are super expensive, so I feel like this is middle of the road. Yeah, and it's good, and it, uh, I feel like it's really like thick, so it probably stays on a lot longer yeah, than other lip glosses. Yeah, good. Really? I want to see. Who can, I can't see. <laughs> Anyways, my favorite lip gloss is Wonder Woman by MAC. And so, okay, I got it because it was oh, one of a kind. Oh, that's right. They did a line, a whole one Yeah, yeah, So you can't really buy it anymore unless you probably shop Well, online. great. This is a great tutorial. <laughs> you can't buy it. Sorry. So you just have to be jealous of Olga and her awesome lip gloss. Exactly. But I'm sure they can buy it off of somebody on eBay. You better sanitize that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I got this because, well first of all, it was also $16, which is like, you know, middle road, like you said, price, uh, but it's from MAC, and it's huge. This is like probably bigger than any Is it that color? Or is that? Let's try it. Although I don't want to ruin my perfect lips. Well, let's try it on you. Let's swatch it. Let's swatch it. Perfect. <laughs> you like that term, swatching? <laughs> There's We're so pros. many terms I've been learning on this show. Alright, look how big this is. I know, it's a little bit frightening. It's... <laughs> Ooh, oh. Ooh, it's pretty. It has a little bit of a fuchsia. burgundy fuchsia. There you go, that's a proper name. You know what though? I bet MAC comes out with like special uh, limited edition brands and I'm okay. sure they'll come out with another color very similar to yes, this. Yes, and it, that's exactly what they always say at the MAC store. If you buy something that you really like and they don't have it anymore, they probably have a, um, a second one somewhere <laughs> named differently. That's what they say. So tell me like the Wonder Woman color. Yeah. This is cute. So it's really good and it lasts a long time. I've had this for seven months. A long time. So it's awesome. Love it. Love it. <laughs> so yeah, so this is our favorite lip glosses. Lisa has like 500 of them. So we'll get, we're gonna do another episode on that or something. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, let us know in the comments below. Who else would you like to see in my bed? And Save me again. <laughs> Save me again. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments below. And what products do you want us to review? And don't forget to click thumbs up because it helps the channel grow all the way up there. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. Thanks for having me. You too. Love you. Oh, I love you. I'm gonna kiss her face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Whoosh. Whoosh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Lisa, mm -hmm. tell us your first kiss story. Um, okay, my first kiss story is not romantic in the slightest. Like, I feel like every, I like, I wish that's what it was like, yeah, but it was um, with my gay best friend. He was sassy and cute, and we decided that we should have our first kiss to get yeah. it over with, and so we could practice. So we made out in his bedroom, and then we kept making out like every day, just because like. <laughs> Are you sure he was gay? So gay, and that's a common theme in my life. Just I love to kiss gay men. But <laughs> what? Um, but it's funny because guys kiss differently than girls. So I don't understand what kind of practice he could get with a girl. Or am I oh. wrong? Oh, I don't know. Maybe my lips are like a butthole. <laughs> Um, that's disgusting. Well, you, <laughs> you should probably cut that out. No, I don't know. Okay. Maybe he didn't know he was gay at, at the time, um, maybe. But he was just like my best friend, so it was definitely not romantic. Yeah. So it wasn't like you were swimming in the ocean of saliva. I keep describing it that way. 
She's like, Olga, what kind of first kiss did you have? Yeah, what was your first? Have you already told your <laughs> well, story? Well, um, um, not really. I was 12 and uh, I was out dancing with all of my friends and there was this guy who I was like madly in love with and I was like, let's kiss and I've never kissed him before. So when he kissed me, I mean, there was tongue and everything and it was my first time. So I was like, what's happening? So I remember thinking, it's something weird happening in my mouth. I don't understand what it is. I it wanted tingles. to stop. Yeah, it tingled, but I was like, I wanted to stop because it feels really like, like all over the place, right? And once it stopped, I was like, I kind of want to do it again because it was something interesting happening in my body. It is kind of gross at first. Yeah. It's kind of a Especially weird concept. you don't know what you were doing. Yeah. yeah. But stick with it, ladies. It only gets better. <laughs> yeah. Only if they tell you you're pretty, though. Don't kiss them otherwise. It's so funny. I had a guest before this, and she was talking about how don't kiss any boys until you get married. And I'm like, take off your panties <laughs> and get going. Yeah. No, kissing is beautiful, only if it's with a boy that you really, really like. Yeah. Or a girl that you really like. Or no girl. discrimination. No discrimination. Or a guy with a guy. Like, you know, do whatever you want. Or a puppy. 